Hi guys. So this is a video for mounting your cast. So the first thing is we need um, your semi-adjustable articulator. We're going to be mounting with the universal mounting table rather than the face bow. For sure we'll need two set of mounting plates, mounting stone, plaster, hot glue gun, your sanding instrument, bowl, everything, and some rope wax. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we mount this upper cast in the right position. Making sure this is at zero. I'm going to open it up. Place a bike um, mounting plate in there. Make sure this is nice and flush with it in it and it's not crooked anywhere. My, mount, my mounting stand, I need to have the bolt ends that fit here and the magnet right there. Make sure it fits nice and correct. Once we have that, this is going to give me the position of the upper cast on to the articulator if you see it. Now, sometimes this part may shift or move, so you can use a little bit of rope wax, especially on the posterior section, like this, just a little bit, to, and make sure this, the, this, the midline, it's at the midline of the cast. If you look at it from here, now we have enough space between the cast and the base plate. If the cast is too thick, make sure you grind it down to where you have about a finger long, okay? If you have a little bit more or less, it's okay. Midline, it's right there and we're ready to mount the upper, okay? When we mount the upper, a very important thing that we have to do is we need to wet this surface here. If I don't wet that surface, the mounting stone is going to absorb, the stone is going to absorb my mixing here. With this, this is a low expansion, fat set, fast setting stone. This is the one I really want to use. So we got here, it says 26 milliliters per 100 grams. This is 100 gram. So pretty much one of these cups, it's about 26 milliliters. We're gonna add it, mix it. Remember, we want to use the thin, the thin spatula. I'm going to use the clear green bowl. The dark green bowl and the thicker spatula are only and exclusively used for algae. Now you're going to get a mixture. This mixture is a little runny still, so you still have time. Don't try to do it right now because everything is just going to start falling all over the place. As it's runny, make sure you have this sitting vertically, horizontally, I mean, and you can start sitting as it's runny. It'll get into the undercuts of the mounting plate. If you see, there is undercuts of the mounting plate. So you wanna reach those undercuts right there. I still wanna wait, because it's still too runny, At this point, we make sure this is nice and, 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 and flat, and we make sure the occlusion is not tilted to one side or the other, but it's pretty flat to it, okay? Once this is done, then I'm gonna make sure this is nice and wet. 
not wet that it's dripping, just that area I want it wet. And I'm gonna start putting a small amount all over. Trying to cover this area, right? If you see the consistency of the of the stone, it's not that runny anymore. And then from here, I'm just gonna make enough. You see how it's not that runny that I can put one and then I put another one on top and it stays there, right? I'm gonna do the same thing on here. And pretty much what I want, look. I just press, push it, and it stays in there. If that's not happening, just wait a little bit longer, okay? You still have a lot of time. We're gonna close it down, right? As you close it down, you have to make sure the pin, right? So you're gonna start pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, until, the pin is at zero, and then you can start getting all these here. You can get some water. I want you guys to feel now that the, the stone it's setting All right. I can use my my hand my finger with water and you're just gonna wait okay all right guys so after a few minutes where the cast or the the the, the mounting stone has set make sure you can you can always put some rubber bands to prevent the expansion remember these 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 materials tend to expand up a little bit okay once we take it out now we have these I always use that like this and if you want to take this one out don't drop it up like that make sure you always get like a like some sort of a material of, of uh, your blade or, or um, spatula or something and take it out. If you pull it out from here, there's still, the plaster is not ready and you may separate this, okay? So now we have the upper with the base already glued on to this, okay? We're gonna make it pretty later on. Now, what I want to do is with both of the cast dry, I'm gonna put them in MIP, right? And I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun and I'm gonna hot glue gun, hot glue gun some areas. One area there. One area there. And maybe a little bit right here in the interior. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just securing these areas. Some people would say to use a rubber band. I take, I, on, I don't like the rubber bands because the rubber band can move around and can give you a wrong. Remember, you have to have the occlusion nice and tight on both sides, right? You can always wet your finger to kind of like speed up the cooling process of this. Okay, with your finger and speed up the cooling process. Now it's nice and tight. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna get the universal mounting table out. Another mounting plate. I set the upper like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip my articulator like that now 
if you see, now the upper part, it's hitting the table, right? And now I'm gonna close it like this, making sure this is at zero. Can you see the zero there? No. Making sure this is at zero, right? And that I have enough space for the mounting stone. This is nice and secure and it's not moving anywhere, you see? Okay, so I open it up and I follow the same process. All right, so now everything is set. Let's flip it over. And now, as you can tell, we have a upper and lower with the mounting stone and the teeth are glued together. Now, if I try to open it right now, something's gonna give in, probably this, that, or the teeth may break because of that. So at this point, I want to wet it out. Maybe with the use of a spatula or something, try to get rid of the plastic, the glue that we had. Okay. Be careful not damaging the teeth. Now it's time to make these guys pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix some plaster. Plaster acts a little different. This one, we don't need to measure it, but really what you want is a mixture. Now, this is a terrible mixture, right? It's too runny. With the plaster, you can add more. to where you get the right consistency. We always hand mix, we don't vacuum mix these kind of materials. We try to just hand mix these ones. What would you vacuum mix? The stone you use for your casts, type three stone. Now, with this consistency, right, we're gonna start plastering things in. I wanna have everything nice and wet, and I will be adding and filling the voids. I want to, I want to overdo it a little bit. Look at it, I'm gonna overdo it a little bit. So I have enough, enough uh, plaster. Make sure you don't go on the inside of it, okay? Just overdo it a little bit, right there. And let it sit. Let it sit for a little bit, right there. Don't touch it. Meantime, I'm gonna work on the lower. I recommend you guys, if you're do this is the first time you're doing it, do one and then wait and do the other one, okay? It starts setting, right? Under runny water. This is one way. I'm gonna do one way with this and then another way with the other one, okay? on the runny water, I can start working with this. On your practical, you will not be able, or you will not have access for runny water. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on runny water, because it's just easier. And I'm just rubbing it with my finger, making sure my mounting plate is completely free of material, you see? And I'm just turning it, cleaning, there's no, there's no plaster anywhere but the base. 
I don't want to see any plaster anywhere else. Now let's do the other one. This other one, it's fully set, right? And you will have the this instrument, very expensive instrument. You wet it out, right? And then you're gonna start sanding with this. You're gonna start sanding it out. You can have a container with water, a container with water where you soak it in like that, right? Which is what you're gonna have in your, for your practical. Sink it in water and look, the sand, as you're sanding it out, always the sand, you never, you don't sand it like this, because if you sand, you, you rub this here, you're gonna start sanding the teeth. So you always want to sand it towards the base plate, okay? Always towards the base plate. Make sure your base plate is fully clean and clear of any plaster whatsoever. That's part of your grading, guys. Remember, we're gonna be grading finish and neatness. Now that I have it like that, you can clean the excess out. I'm making sure there's no white anywhere. If you happen to have some here, you can have a toothbrush handy and toothbrush it, okay? If it gets into the areas here, you can always get the toothbrush and toothbrush it out, okay? Make sure it's not fully set. If it's fully set, you might as well get started again with a new set, with a new set of cuts. So, you clean it, you clean it. This is what we get. This part here needs to be redone. That area needs to be redone, okay? When we're grading, we'll be grading to where the base plate is fully, it's completely free of any plaster. The plaster is nice and smooth all the retentive or the, the groovings have to be filled and everything is just one whole thing. There is no plaster on the teeth or on the yellow stone. You can always go back, mix a little bit more and patch those little areas, okay? Then after that, make sure you clean your articulator this, set up the upper, and make sure everything's sliding correctly. If this is grainy, you can always sand it back again to make it nice and smooth. This is this, this is the texture that I'm looking for. Not the grainy, but the smooth texture. The pin is at zero and you have full occlusion everywhere.